This is Did You Do It? It's 9.15 p.m. April 30th, 2018, and I have the shit. Okay, I've got it. I'm at the College of DuPage, Go 16 satellite. We're on natural color, and I've got it at 200 frames, and we are in the global sector. Clicked on that little spot, opened it up. Now, here's a menu up here. Opened up that menu, get your data overlays. And what I wanted to do was I was aiming to hook me up with some GOES flashes. This is the equivalent of the GLM. And then I uh, wanted to view the uh, anomaly off the coast of Florida that uh, Cosmic Ant was viewing. So I got the flashes on there, and I wanted to go back to about the 19th. I wanted to go to the time frame. So I'm looking for the flashes. I'm not seeing them, but uh, I'm just not seeing the flash. I'm just what the hell? What the hell is that? What is that? Okay, folks, that's April thirtieth, two thousand eighteen. We're looking at seventeen fifteen UTC. Seventeen. 45, 17, 15, 17, 40. Okay, there's a time sequence missing, and it turns green. And then we have a photograph of a planet. Look at that. Now you tell me. Look at that, folks. It's got land on it. I'm just going to get rid of it. So, so you can see it's not the clouds in the background. It's not iridescent you can't see through it really it's a photograph that's 17 okay I can't see the time very well that's 1745 UTC 1800 1745 what? 1745. 1800. 1745. 1745. Apparently, we got two images for the 1745 time period. And they're the green hue and the, uh, the planet. Yeah. Anyway, look at that shit. Oh, I'm sorry, pardon my vernacular. Look at this, the, uh, the energy that they're feeding into this system here is going to come right around and uh, dump a bunch of moisture on uh, old Richie from Boston, isn't it? Look at that. Richie, it's coming at you, buddy. Look at that. Well, you can't see the flashes here, but this is where the flashes were occurring. Oh, my gosh. This planet's right over me, where it was. Okay, I don't know what to say right now, man. I'm just just getting into it. That's just fascinating. I'm just going to leave it on here for about, I don't know. Huh. Wish I could zoom in on it some more. Sorry about the jiggling. What's the best we could do there? Sorry about that. Hope you did your Dramamine. All right, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Look at that, folks. College of DuPage, global sector. Color imagery for North America. Okay, and I got the. Uh, there it is. Sorry, I have, I have trouble. I can't link uh, in the description. And don't forget, you got to open up this. Uh, where is it at? There's a menu up there. Get the ghost flashes. Well, you didn't have to do the ghost flashes for this image. But don't forget this image. This uh, menu up here is very important. You want to have the ghost GLM flashes uh, button on at all times. I'd say. And uh, 
You know, you use these, just experiment with them for sure. And that's how I find these things. But, uh, all right. College of DuPage. Gotta go check it out. Let me see something here. If I can get over to the uh, Colorado State EDU. See what they're doing. We've got a, that uh, seven degree parallel anomaly going across there. And it's uh, still occurring. Today it was a good one. I happen to have it set on fire temperature with an overlay of accumulated group energy and another overlay of accumulated group counts. And uh, just having trouble loading right now. But you can see there's dots equal distance apart starting at about the 33rd degree longitude and the last spot's about 120 about 115 16 degrees of longitude over here let's see if we can get it rid of the uh group energy first there's that anomaly up in Florida it's sending it right into this system okay, okay that's 2045 UTC on April 30th and they're feeding this system oh okay that's just my uh, theory all right, 2045. Okay, there, oh, look at that. Okay, there we go. I'll do this again here. Can you see the red spots? Well, I can't see them through the camera. Oh, that's why. That's uh, 1645 UTC. And then... 1700 the dots extend all the way over to here and then 1715 the dots are decreasing in intensity they're the same distance apart but they're extending over to about the 115th degree longitude I just think that's how you say it and then by uh, 1730 it's over now, if I remember right, the diameter of the Earth is about 7,900 miles north to south. A little bit more, like 28, 30 miles wider. So about 7,900 miles this thing travels in an hour. And yeah, now, about 6,000 miles in one hour. It's awesome, folks. Actually, Brandon over at the uh, the Watcher turned me on to that again today. And I know Cosmic Ant's going to help us out with this because she does a far better job analyzing this stuff. And and uh, thanks a lot, Cosmic Ant, the Watcher, everybody. Did you do it? Oh, wait. Let's go check out this again. Where is it at? I got to check it out, the planet. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Okay. I'll leave you on this note. Not happening, folks. Did you do it?